Cloudinary is a powerful image and video platform, but to harness all of that power, you need to start at the beginning. Let's explore how to upload files using Spell Cloudinary library. Cloudinary provides a lot of ways to upload files, including server-side methods via Node.js, SDK, or directly through the client. But today, we're focusing on Spelt Cloudinary. This tool not only streamlines the upload process, but it also offers components for image optimization and transformation, and the CLD Upload widget, a drop-in solution for easy uploads. Spelt Cloudinary offers a simple way to implement the Cloudinary Upload widget by using the CLD Upload widget component. Just import it into your code and then add it to the template. You'll need to at least pass one prop, the upload preset and a slot prop named open. The CLD upload widget component doesn't render any element into the screen. Instead of that, it's used through composition by using a slot. You can pass anything you want into the slot. In this case, you'll use a simple button. The slot prop open is a function that can be called by the element or component you add into the slot. Let's add the button here, and when clicked, it will trigger the open function from the slot prop. Let's see the result. The widget opens, and you can choose an image to upload. But after it's done, nothing happens in the application. Let's change that behavior by using another prop of the CLD upload widget component, the unupload callback. This is a function that will be called when the upload process finish. Let's back to the code and create two state variables, info and error. Now let's create the unupload callback function and check the data that has come back into the result parameter. If it succeeds, then change the state of info variable. If error, set the state of the error variable. At the end, using the widget reference, let's close it. Now let's add the unupload prop using the shortcut syntax here. Let's make use of the state variables you just created. If error is not null, then render the error. If info is not null, then render the image. For that, let's use the image HTML tag, accessing the information of the image and the secure URL as source of it. Don't forget to set an alt text in your image tags. Finally, let's also render the secure URL as text. Let's try this out. After a successful upload, the widget closed and the image is rendered. At this point, you already know how to use the CLD upload widget component, but there is a second use case. The first one was for unsigned uploads, but you can also upload signed assets. For that, you need to use another prop of the component, signature endpoint. This prop is just a string that references the URL or location of an API endpoint that will perform the Cloudinary signature process before uploading the asset. For this demo, the endpoint is slash API slash sign Cloudinary params. If you wonder how the endpoint looks, this is the code. It's a plus server file inside the Spellgate application that accepts post request. The code of this is out of the scope of this video but you can find the source code of this in the repository in GitHub. Check the link down below. With that ready, time to test it. Let's go back to the browser and open the network panel so you can see how the widget will first hit the signature endpoint. Choose an image, open it, and check the network. The first step is to get the Cloudinary signature. As you can see, the image has been uploaded successfully using the signed upload. Now that you learned how to upload files using the spell Cloudinary, let's take this further. In our next video, you'll learn how to optimize images using the spell Cloudinary library.